Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this ASR 900 Azure Fundamentals exam course. We just learned about role-based access control. In this lesson, we're going to talk about Azure resource locks. So what is resource locks? Resource locks help you prevent accidental deletion or modification of your Azure resources. You can manage these locks within the Azure portal. There are two types of lock. First one is cannot delete and the second one is read only. Sometimes you may need to lock a subscription or a resource group or a resource to prevent other users in your organization from accidentally deleting or modifying critical resources. For that, these two types of lock level can help you do that. Cannot delete or read only. So what is cannot delete? Cannot delete means authorized admin can still read and modify a resource, but they cannot delete the resource. Read only means authorized admins can read a resource, but can't delete or update the resource. Applying this lock is like restricting all authorized users to the permissions granted by the reader role. And when a resource lock is applied, when a resource lock is applied, you must first remove the lock in order to perform that activity by putting an additional step in place before allowing that action to be taken on that resource. It helps protect that resource from any sort of other actions and helps protect your administrator from doing something they may not be intending to do. Resource locks apply regardless of your RBAC permissions. Even if you are an owner of the resource, you must still remove the lock before you will actually be able to perform the blocked activity. Now that we have learned the two types of resource lock, read only and cannot delete, let's go and find out in the Azure portal how to add a resource lock and prevent deletion of these resources from the resource lock. So I will see you on the next walkthrough. Till then, take care.